And here's my stealth antenna arrangement. Well, as stealthy as I can get under the circumstances. Roof mounted tripod, Radio Shack, cheap issue. Eight foot mast running up into an MFJ Discon, which is good for 50 megahertz to 1.3 gig. Does a good job. Down below is an off-center fed dipole. That is the uh, Ballon Transformer. Uh, it's rated at a kilowatt. I'll never see a kilowatt, but that's what it's rated at. Uh, the wire is actually very close to invisible it's, uh, from a distance because it's a copper-clad stainless steel 18 gauge. It's not. It's not all that thick. Let me back off the image here a little. As you can see, it's really not all that little. There's a little more perspective here. It's not all that much antenna. Performs acceptably. Uh, the ballum is held up there by a uh, by a spring I cut. I took a stainless steel spring and cut it to fit. Uh, so all the uh, all the stretching and bending and wind and tension and stuff are taken up by that spring. Uh, the cross member coming off of the mast is actually just a steel shelf bracket uh, held to the mast with C-clamps. Uh, it's up there fairly well. Uh, let's see, and uh, the short leg of the antenna, which is, or of the uh, off-center fed dipole, which is only rated for 40 meters through 6 meters, is 22 feet long, and it attaches to the swing set to the top of that. I normally wouldn't attach it to something mobile like a swing set, but the thing weighs probably 300 pounds, and it's been there long enough that it's a good four inches into the earth, so it's not really an issue. Uh, Dacron rope, of course, because I want to keep it up as long as possible, so uh, Dacron's your best bet. And uh, as I said, that 18-gauge wire is pretty close to invisible and uh, runs up hits the ballon the other side of that wire stretches out 44 feet and it's screwed to the uh, eave of the roof with an eyelet and probably about three feet of Dacron rope there uh, so far so good no problems with the antenna no complaints and as I said, it will cover everything from 40 meters to 1.3 gigahertz. Doesn't do it perfectly. It's not a beam. It's not going to perform like a beam. But then again, I'm not going to get myself into a whole bunch of uh, whole bunch of situations. Now, 40 meters, my ground coverage is pretty good. Uh, about 400 miles out because the antenna is so low to the ground, it's acting as an invis antenna. And I'm running about 400 miles uh all around so I can work down into Georgia over into Maryland uh, quite cleanly and with a good ground wave.